And we are surrounded by angels. The angels that Angels Place serves on a daily basis, nearly 100 of them, a special needs adult who are cared for. And then the, the angels that came out today and braved some, uh, well, we'll just say everybody got a Michigan facial. How about that? Uh, <laughs> it was a heavy mist right in the kisser as you were driving down the fairway. It was a beautiful, uh, beautiful day, though. The, the, the Bayou Lake is in beautiful shape, and we can brave a little rain, especially when we know that we're serving the needs of these very special individuals. And we've got a lot of folks out there right now, and we'll be catching up with them a little bit later on. But I wanted to welcome in uh, a gentleman who is one of the sponsors of this event, and that is Doug North, who is the Special Events Chairman of the Detroit Auto Dealers Association and President of North brothers ford doug good afternoon good afternoon guy and uh, thanks so much for having me thrilled to talk to you today well I, I had the pleasure of seeing you over the weekend at a friend's wedding and i'm glad you could join us today um just tell me about the you know you board of angels place um, you have thoroughly indoctrinated me into being a supporter, as has Lynn Gates. Uh, tell me about what makes this place, Angel's Place, so special. Well, as you know, it's a remarkable organization that was started by uh, four women, um, I'm going to say 20-some years ago. And it was a, a really a, founded on a wonderful vision of uh, a plan to try and care for you know some emotionally disabled or physically disabled young people that they knew were going to grow uh, and get older and and eventually need you know long-term care and so the vision of creating actual homes that uh, provide a true family environment and one that uh, they are faith-based and that they offer care for life. So it really provides a remarkable reassurance to aging parents, things like that, when they're concerned mm -hmm. about the long-term well-being of their children. So it's been a remarkable uh, organization, and we've been thrilled to participate and support it as much we, as we can over these past number of years. And I've got to wonder, too, Doug, I, I was struck as uh, we were going from hole to hole. There are posters up of many of the Angels Place residents and in many cases these are not young people i mean ages ago uh, special needs individuals often had shorter lifespans but in some cases these are elderly individuals now and it, i i think that their the extension of their lives is due in no small part to the wonderful care they get through angel's place and through the people that support angel's place well, I would certainly echo that completely, and I would tell you that I think uh, we plan at Angel's Place for an approximate 40-year stay. So this is not a short-term plan. It's a long-term family environment, and fortunately with, with science and some of the, the progress we've mm -hmm. made, um, they're living fuller and longer lives and they're very fulfilling lives. Yeah, yeah I I've attended so many of uh, of the fundraisers over the years, and there's a moment, especially at Christmas time, where the residents come out and sing. And I got to tell you, there's not an individual in that uh, hall that doesn't have a huge lump in their throat uh, when because they sing with such passion. They sing like uh, you know, it's like dance when nobody's watching, sing as if nobody's listening. That's what they do, and they are just just dear. You've got some big stuff coming up here, my friend, with the uh, Motor City Car Crawl. Uh, and also Motor Bella for those that are looking to to uh, get together and enjoy that. Tell me what's uh, what's in store. Well, we are really excited about both the events, and uh, as you know, the challenge we've had these last eighteen months or so uh, with the pandemic has created lots of of uh, issues, certainly with indoor events. And so, this summer, uh, beginning uh, August 5th, the weekend of August 5th to 8th, we've got the Motor City Car Crawl downtown, which includes uh, six of the downtown parks that are going to have all sorts of new vehicles in them. Um, virtually all brands will be represented. They're walkable. You can walk from one to the other. It's a Thursday through a Sunday, and there will be a variety of uh, entertainment and different types of food uh, and food trucks as well and certainly a great opportunity 
to support, you know, downtown restaurants and, and companies downtown and in a comfortable, outdoor, safe environment. And then on Saturday, August 7th, we have the gala, which is our fundraiser, uh, and we're featuring uh, Cheryl Crow as our headline entertainer that night, and those tickets are available through uh, NAIAS.com. And those dollars are going toward the charities that our charity preview in prior years would have supported. And, you know, we've raised over $120 million for those charities over these last 25 or 30 years. And we would really love to have a great turnout so that we can continue to try and support those charities downtown. And then we segue in late September to Motor Bella, which is uh, the 21st through the 26th. And those vehicles uh, out at M1, uh, there'll be a dynamic, all sorts of different moving vehicle displays, uh, different types of activations, all sorts of opportunities for consumers to get in vehicles, ride in them, be driven, driven in them by professional drivers, uh, do a hill climb, uh, see hot laps run around the track. Uh, and we're really, really excited about that, too. So between those two events, I think we've got uh, eight, eight full public days for people to come on out in a safe environment and uh, see all sorts of new mobility and new products, and we're really thrilled about it. Well, and Doug, uh, I'm not throwing any shade on, on the auto shows that you and I love so much, but th- these vehicles are meant to be seen in motion, and that's one of the things that Motor Bella is going to allow us to do is to actually see these cars uh, the way that we're meant to be seen, uh, in in motion. And I, I think that's an exciting dimension uh, to the auto show experience that uh, I, I, I would imagine that you're going to be exploring down the road. Oh, oh, we are. And as you know, the the what we would refer to as a traditional auto shows have undergone a lot of change in these last five to eight years. And uh, consumers are really looking for more interactive opportunities, and manufacturers are, are also wanting to make sure that they can show off all of the new amazing technology they have. And at Motor Belly, you'll be able to take a ride in a, an electric vehicle, uh, an autonomous vehicle. You're going to see all sorts of high-performance vehicles as well as off-road displays and really a great opportunity to really interact with some of this new dynamic product. And we're really excited uh, to make sure that everybody's safe, it's outside, and it's really going to be a lot of fun. And unlike anything we've done before, but between those two events, you know, we've got an awful lot to share with with Southeast Michigan in the next uh, six, seven weeks. And we look forward to uh, to sharing that information when you're uh, ready to make it available to us, Doug North. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for supporting Angel's Place. Uh, they are dear people, and they deserve our support, and uh, you're making a huge difference today with the involvement of the Detroit Auto Dealers Association. Take care, my friend. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it, and wishing you the best. And, and you too. We'll see you soon. 313 on News Talk 760 WJR. When we come back, one in five Michiganders who applied for federal unemployment benefits may have applied using the wrong eligibility requirements. One in five of you could have taken checks that you might have to pay back. We'll tell you what you need to know about next. And by the way, it's not your mistake. It's the state of Michigan's. We'll try to sort it out for you next on the Guy Gordon Show. Next on the